I love this thing. Well, Kelvin had to take off, so I'm on my own today with riding this Moon Cool TK1. And I gotta tell you already, already I gotta tell you, I love this. I love this e-trike. Cruising along there, it says 17 and a half miles an hour. And pedal assist one, not pedaling. We'll slow down for the stop sign and hang a right. I only have one other e-trike to compare this to <laughs> and there's no comparison at all. This thing is wonderful. It's so stable, it's built so heavy duty. The frame is big and strong. It's got a 500 watt motor with 750 peak power. I haven't had any trouble going anywhere I want to go. Even one riding on the edge of the road where uh, I'm still not pedaling. Coming up a pretty steep hill here, 10 miles an hour. When riding on the side of the road where it might lean a little and some e-trikes want to lean with that. It's not that this one doesn't, but it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's, I'm confident. I'm more confident than the other one that I've ridden. Probably because the frame is so rigid, so heavy duty. I hope you can see the display and read it. 15 miles an hour coming up this hill. Throttle only. Slowing down just a bit. About 10 miles an hour. Picking up speed. Yeah, it, it's, I think it's everything an e-trike can be. I don't know what's better than this. Uh, and it has so many cool features that I'm going to tell you about later. They really paid attention to detail on this bike. We'll go down here and take a look at the lake. This is Lake Bonnie. This is the only public access to Lake Bonnie is right here. And there's nobody here. I've never been here before when there's nobody here. Well, somebody left their shoes and their belt. I guess I just didn't want them. Looks kind of goofy. The front brake does squeak a little like that. I'm not sure quite what that's about yet. Haven't ridden this much at all. Peaceful. There's fish in that lake. They stock it. Oh, I just saw one jump. This area right here can be problematic to get out of. I've had trouble on other bikes. But no trouble with this one. That's due to the rear differential. This has a differential in the rear axle. And that means power will be applied to whichever wheel needs the power. I'm going to bump up the pedal assist mode and we're going to try this very steep hill.
pedaling now, no throttle at all. Just pedal, just me. 76 year old guy having no issues. Oh, no issues at all. This is, it, it can't get much easier. The motor is helping, of course. I'm pedaling. How easy is that? Let me turn on my left turn signal here. It's got this quarter turn throttle here in my right hand. This is, this is living the dream right here. Just cruising, just a little throttle. Earlier I came up my gravel driveway just applying a small amount of throttle just to see if it would do it without being full power. No problem at all. This machine just exudes quality. Absolute quality. They thought of everything. Actually on first release of this they forgot to think of something. But with a few reviewers telling them, hey, you didn't put a parking brake on there. They put on not just one, which is over here on my right finger. I just locked the rear brake. Now it won't roll away. They put on two on the left brake there. Now the front wheel can't roll either. And that's just due to feedback from uh, other reviewers. So, a responsive company, not just a responsive e-bike. This has a big, wide, soft saddle. You could ride this all day long. Now, it's not that I need this e-trike. I don't. I have, I have e-bikes I can ride. And I ride them, but this is this is just so easy. The big part that I love, of course, is when you come to a stop, which I'm not going to do here. You don't have to put your feet down. Just keep your feet on the pedal when you come to a stop. Well, this is a pretty steep hill. We didn't get a run at it. We're doing almost 12 miles an hour. Oh yeah. Look at that. 11 miles an hour over the top. Throttle only. No pedal. Now if you want to pedal, I recommend downshifting to about either pedal assist 2 or 3. And then, okay, now I'm pedaling. I'm exerting zero effort. I'm just moving my legs. That's all I'm doing. And that's all that has to be done. The pedals just need to move in a forward motion to activate the motor. Can you see my knees? I hope you can see my knees. I'm, I'm just barely moving. Just barely moving my legs. Now I can, I can if I want to. It looks like in pedal assist three, I'm limited to 11 miles an hour if I pedal. So I would assume that in pedal assist four, it's probably like 12 or 13. And then in pedal assist five, 15 and a half miles an hour is supposed to be the top speed. And that's pretty typical for e-trikes. You don't want to be, you don't want to be going 20 miles an hour around the corner. Although look at this. I turned that corner pretty sharp. No issues at all. 
but you don't want to be going around the corner at 20 miles an hour on a three-wheeler easy pedaling easy pedaling i'm gonna downshift into two see where that limits out uh, about nine miles an hour before the motor kicks in or before the motor kicks out i should say in this state we don't have to stop for stop signs on a bike and the e-bike is a bike in this state and that's a safety issue it's safer to roll through when there's no traffic than it is to come to a stop and then on an e-bike at a two-wheeler put your feet down and then have to get back up and then get going again it's just safer to roll through and i can't believe this state recognized that and made it okay to do but they did and i'm glad i'll take a left here no signal needed because there ain't nobody here i like that little rocker switch for the turn signals And I like the horn. Yeah. We'll take it right here. Hi. I guess I should pedal now and then, shouldn't I? That's supposed to be the <laughs> the deal to get exercise, which I'm always pushing. It's just easier to do a review without pedaling. Pedaling. Oh, easy, so easy. I for some reason I prefer to pedal up the hills. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess because it's usually so hard and on a regular bike and it's so easy on something with a motor on it. Okay, pedaling. This is a very steep hill here. And pedal assist three going 10 and a half miles an hour. 11. Hardly any pressure on the pedals. And now I'm going to switch the throttle. And I like these grips. They have nice wide palm rest on them. Let's see if we can find a place to do a brake test here. I'm just coasting, no throttle, no pedal, just coasting 22 miles an hour. We'll try a brake test right up here. You ready? <laughs> Hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. Yes, they work. Boy, if you're looking for an e-trike, and I don't sell these, I'm just telling you what my impressions, but if you're looking for one, I'd be looking at this one. Mooncool TK1, Mooncool, just like it sounds. M-O-O-N-C-O-O-L, Mooncool. Makes me curious what else they might have in the works. How can they top this? I think I'm going to get over here on the sidewalk just, just to see what it's like where you hit the driveways and you're up and down, up and down. I'm going to try that. See how that feels right here. Oh yeah, hardly noticeable. Woo-wee! 
<laughs> and we got a little off road and do, do, do up here. This is the last house in beautiful downtown Bonnie Lake. I might be sorry about this. Oh, oh no. No problem. What about this? That's a big drop off. I'm gonna go around here a little bit. There we go. I own this corner there used to be a little store right here now there, now there isn't okay this hill can be troublesome we'll see how we do out here in the road throttle only It's a little steeper up here at the top. Throttle only. Well, 12 miles an hour. Now this is another one of those on a hill sideways situations. Oh, it wasn't even, wasn't even an issue. Well, I just feel like I could go anywhere on this. You see that battery bar on the left of the display? Can you see that? I hope you can, it might be glaring or something. It's still full, right? Or maybe it's missing one bar at the bar at the top, maybe. And that was a pretty good ride. I didn't really notice. Well, gosh, we got 10 miles on there. I probably started with two, I should have looked. But there's 10 on it now, and only one bar gone. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh. We are back. Do you display 10 miles? Oh no, there's no bars missing. I thought maybe that end was a bar. It's hard to tell when you're riding along, but no bars. We didn't use any power. How could that be? Well, nevertheless, I'm impressed. I'm riding the Moon Cool three wheel track. It's a three wheeler. Well, I came back my father-in-law house and he wasn't home he was out riding his bike so when he got back i said hey <laughs> i'll give it a shot so, so i'm giving it a shot This is good. You get to a stop sign. <laughs> you don't have to put your feet down. You just sit there and wait for your turn to go. That's awesome. I mean, I love the look of this bike. How you doing, sir? 
How are you guys? Good. Bike is a lot more comfortable than I, I thought. <laughs> and then, I guess I just takes a, takes a little getting used to. I just need to ride it a little bit more. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I told you I'd give you some of the specs on this when we were done riding. And Kelvin had his ride too. He was able to come back and give it a shot. 48 volt, 500 watt motor with 750 watt peak power. It's got a 48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour battery. It goes 35 to 60 miles, depending on how much you're pedaling or what pedal assist level you're in. It's got a two amp charger for six to eight hour charging. It'll go maximum 16 miles an hour. It has a cadence sensor with 24 signals. It's got that twist throttle that I showed you earlier on the right hand side along with the horn and turn signals here's that display kelvin took it for a four mile ride remember i had 10 miles on it when i was done nice easy to read bright display you, you can see it in the sunlight it's got a big front light uh, it's not on but it's big and it's got that reflector under it what about these tail lights kelvin get the full shot that that's amazing that's a nice three three tail lights with brake lights and the turn signal right there in the middle yeah how nice is that but that's just the spec that's just what they tell you about it they don't tell you a lot of things first bike i've ever seen that has a built-in trailer hitch right here welded right onto the frame how nice is that they welded on a place for a wire tie instead of wrapping the tie around the frame they welded on a spot and that's not the only one on here it's got a chain tensioner built in lots of adjustment for the chain as, as it stretches over time it's got nice metal pedals with reflectors now this is a one speed this is not you don't shift the speeds on this this just has the pedal assist mode so that simplifies things and you don't need all those gears you don't need it it works fine without they included a bottle holder comes with the front rack and the big rear rack it's got front and rear 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes so here's another place where they built in a wire tie holder and, and another and another so they don't have to wrap the wire ties around here and spoil that lovely paint something else i didn't tell you about this bike this is a folding e-trike you need to haul it somewhere you need to put it in the trunk you need to put it in the back of your truck, put it in the back of your SUV, it folds. Handlebars fold down, bike folds in half, and it has a quick release front axle. So you can just pull that axle out of there, take the tire off, and fold it even more than it is now. So that is simply amazing. Easy to haul, easy to store. Nice secure latch. Another nice secure latch on the handlebars. This is an amazing bike. You can also adjust the height of the handlebars right here. You can adjust the tilt of the handlebars. Loosen these four screws, tilt it back, tilt it forward, whatever your preference is. You can charge the battery on the bike by just pulling out this little plug and charge it right there. Or with a key, you can unlock the battery 
and lift it right on out of there, take it in the house. And this, look at that wide, comfortable seat. Cushy, very comfortable. You can ride that all day long. So that's how it works. How's it look? I think it looks great. I am impressed. I, I, I see this bike every day. It's been sitting on the carport where I come out and look at it. I've given it a lot of thought. That's how I notice the wire ties, for instance, and the chain tensioner. Love the big, beautiful headlight. I love everything about it. Look at the wires all wrapped and out of the way. Got a place here on the basket to keep them secure. This is a, a marvelous machine. Probably my favorite e-bike right now. And yes, I do ride two-wheelers. I've got a lot of them. But this, this is, I think this is my go-to now. It's just so much fun. You don't have to put your feet down when you come to a stop. It's great. Kelvin, do you have any final thoughts? I think it's a great bike. I really enjoy riding it today. It was comfortable. I'll just lay back and just, I just let it roll. Be sure to look down in the description for any discount codes. A link to this bike. I think it's on sale. I'm not certain it was last time I looked. It's an excellent bike, well worth your money. New wood turning video tomorrow. So for now, this is Phil, Jade Acres Wood Shop, signing off.